Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you the life story of one of my all-time skateboarding icons, Steve Caballero. Steve Caballero was born on November 8, 1964 and started skateboarding at the age of 12 years old. He loved doing it so much that he started to build his very own ramp. He joined the Bones Brigade in 1979 after being discovered by Stacy Pralta at a contest held at Winchester Skate Park. I remember at that competition that he first saw me skate, um, I ended up getting fifth place in the competition. And I was thinking, well, why does he want me? I got fifth. <laughs> Stacy Pralta once said that Steve Cavallo was the smallest skateboarder he had ever seen in his lifetime. I saw him skate and I felt it in my heart. Just a bolt hit me and I went, oh my god, that kid is unbelievable. To be asked to be on the same team as Steve Caballero was absolutely no question to me. That was it. I wanted to be there. I couldn't believe that I was seen in any sort of similar light to Steve Caballero. He turned pro in 1980 during the Gold Cup series at the Oasis Skate Park. His first graphic was drawn up by Vernon Cortland Johnson, also known as VCJ. He ended up hating the board and told VCJ he wanted his graphic to have a dragon on it. And that's the board we all know and love today. So that deck uh, was made by Pal Peralta as like a surprise graphic for me. Um, but I just hated it because I just thought it was just not much content to it. The board I was riding was the Ray Bones Rodriguez, which was more dimensional, you know, Skull and Sword. And then I had that, that board right there too. That's my curveboard. So then that was my graphic to come after the Ray Bones, I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Like, no, <laughs> you need to draw something, something better. But what do you want? I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe a dragon or something, because I was born near the dragon. At 16 years old, Caballero invented the Caballero, which was a fakey backside 360 ollie. Caballero, at 16 years of age, invents the Caballero. He takes what Alan Gelfin's done, the ollie, and now he does it in the air 360 ollie. Chin. Good evening. Tonight's top story, legendary skater Wonton Animal Chin has been reported missing by friends and relatives. I was really looking for this Chin guy. Have you seen him? Buck Chin, the uh, realtor? Nancy Chin, the manicure? Just one year after the big Animal Chin video, Steve Caballero got his first signature shoe on Vamp. It was called the Caballero High Top. Not many people know about this shoe, but the shoe that everyone knows is the Half Cab that came out in 1992. Steve Caballero just celebrated 30 years of this shoe. 